Greetings, my name is Cheryl Berenger. I'm a professor and department chair at the Department of Food Science and Technology at The Ohio State University. And I'm a researcher in the area of flavor chemistry. Specifically, recently we've been looking at garlic breath. And so I'm going to be talking about a recent article in the journal Food Science, the deodorization of garlic breath by foods and the role of polyphenol oxidase and phenolic compounds. And garlic is a wonderful flavor. It's one of those flavors we really like to have in our food. But the downside is the garlic will linger on your breath up to 24 hours, which isn't so pleasant. So we've been looking at how can you use foods to deodorize your breath. So some of our previous studies, first we were looking at what kind of foods uh, could you eat after garlic that would get rid of the garlic breath. And then trying to explain why. Why do certain foods work really well and other foods don't work nearly as well? So looking at uh, in some of our other studies, we looked at different foods that were effective and trying to understand why they were effective. And our theory is that it comes down to two things. One is phenolic compounds and the other is enzymes. Now, phenolic compounds are things that are present in most fruits and vegetables. You've probably heard that you're supposed to drink red wine and eat dark chocolate uh, because of the antioxidants. And these antioxidants, most of them are phenolics. But most fresh fruits and vegetables also have these phenolics. So we decided to test um, a range of foods and look at the effectiveness of these phenolics in um, deodorizing the garlic breath. So when you chew garlic, the from the moment you bite into garlic, it uh, starts, it's got a compound called allicin, and the allicin breaks down into a number of volatiles that give you that very distinctive garlic flavor. And when you consume them, then they go into your breath, and then they come back out, actually, um, they come out of your stomach, and they come out of your bloodstream, and out of your lungs, and they, this creates garlic breath. So when you consume foods that have phenolic compounds, these phenolics react with those volatiles and they destroy them so that they go away so that you're not breathing out these volatiles anymore. And the second factor is the enzymes and these enzymes speed up the reaction. So if you have a raw fruit or vegetable that has these enzymes, then this reaction happens faster and so this deodorization occurs more rapidly. So the objective of this study was to look a little bit more deeply into the role of the phenolics and of the enzymes. And so to ask the question, how does the amount of phenolics matter? Does the type of phenolics matter? And how much does the enzyme matter? So we had the person consume the garlic, and then they would consume the treatment. And so we had them eat things like um, mint and apple and lettuce, and we did it raw and cooked, because when you cook something, you get rid of the enzyme. First, we were looking at the role of phenolics, right? Does it matter how much phenolics that you consume? And so we took the apple or the mint and we made juice. So we ground up the apple, made apple juice. Uh, when you do that, what happens is the phenolics start to polymerize. So we allowed those phenolics to polymerize and then we actually filtered them out. So you're drinking juice that has the enzymes, but most of the phenolics are removed. And what we found was the juice was not very effective at all. Once you had removed most of the phenolics, it wasn't very effective. You really need those phenolics in there that the amount of phenolics is important to give you good deodorization. We also looked at um, type because when we were trying to correlate the amount of phenolics to how well it deodorized, we didn't get a really good correlation. So we thought, well, maybe it's a type of phenolics that makes sense, uh, the type of phenolics that are really important. And that's what we found is very much that some foods were much more effective than others. So we then took isolated the, the very specific type of phenolic compound that's in that food and we did a very controlled little study. Uh, where we mixed the garlic and the phenolic and looked at the volatiles that were formed and we found that rosemarinic acid, for example, which is the phenolic in mint, was very, very effective. It was much more effective than any of other of the phenolics that we tested. So, in other words, the type of phenolic really matters, which sort of makes sense. So some foods like mint are much more effective uh, than other foods. Then we looked at the enzymes. Because, and, and what we found was if you eat a raw food, which has the phenolic and the enzyme, it was usually, but not always, more effective than the cooked food. So the cooked food would have no enzyme. So in other words, the enzymes are helping, but not dramatically. Many times when we tested the cooked and the raw food, we actually got the same deodorization. In other cases, we got differences. And again, we did this really controlled study where we isolated just the enzyme and added it to the garlic, and we found it, it had a small effect 
But really, the most effective thing was the type of phenolic compound, and then the amount of phenolic and the amount of enzymes were important, but less so. If you're worried about garlic breath, my short answer would be eat apples, eat raw apples, eat raw mint. Both of those were very, very effective um, ways to deodorize garlic breath. So the next steps in research are to continue to look even more deeply at um, the exact type of phenolic that's important. We only tested three types and there's more than that. So to get more into the exact type, more into the exact amount, and more into the enzymes. Because one of the applications you could do for this is you could make a pill. Something where somebody could eat their lovely garlic laden meal and then have this pill which would have the amount and type of phenolics that would give them a really good deodorization so they didn't have to worry about garlic breath afterwards. Mm -hmm.